Well hi folks, just getting into almost into October now, so I'll just give you a quick, probably one of the final videos of the year. Just give you a quick round up of the greenhouse polytunnel and what's going on outside. Start off in the greenhouse, not a lot growing now, I've got my garlic all nicely dried out so that's ready to take in now, I'll just cut the leaves off off those and store them at home. A few more of the peppers, all ripening up now these um, oxhorn ones, if you can see that's a bit of a, a double thing there, look. What have we got? Oh, we've got a cat in here, look. Must be one of neighbours cats, look. an evil thing, doesn't it? Sat amongst my onions, anyway. <laughs> onions are all nicely dried out now. I've been uh, taking a few and eating them anyway, so they're all ready to store again because all the leaves have dried out. Not a lot going on, like I say, a few peppers ripening up. I'm not watering them anymore because they'll split if you water them, just leaving them on the plants to ripen up. Tomatoes, not much going on. A few trusses hanging on. Again, I've not watered these, so the leaves are all shriveling up. So they don't split. What else have we got? A few more peppers there. And then lastly, just the last few of the cherry tomatoes now. They're all coming to an end and the cucumbers finished. So I'll nip up to the plot and show you what's going on up there. Well hi folks, here we are up at the plot. As you can see, a lot of stuff's just been cleared now. I've been weeding everything, hold all the weeds weeds off. And all I'm going to do now is do my sort of no dig method like I did last year. I'm just going to put as much compost, potato compost, garden compost and a few like um, a few, some of that leaf mould on. And just let the worms do the job because I haven't walked on the soil this year so it's in pretty good condition. So I'll show you what we have got left growing. We've got a few savoys still holding on alright and once the weather cools down they should, they should stand quite well. So I've got six of those. And some of the red cabbages are ready now. Wind's getting up, I don't know whether it's going to be affecting the, the sound. Not a bad size now actually, so quite happy with those. Got about half a dozen of those as well. What have we got down here? We've got an odd marrow. This is just a spare one I put in. There we go. Uh, not a lot. Two more pots of sour palmeiras in there. That need emptying out. And then there's the artichoke, which I've just neglected now. So whether there'll be any we'll see, I'll tip them out and have a look. So this is my leaf mould, I only put it in last year, about this time, well just a bit later than last, this last year, I just filled it up with leaves, left it out, no lid on or anything, and I'm really surprised how well it's broken down in just a year. So it's, uh, it's got a few worms in, so it doesn't look too bad, I'll sprinkle some of that on. Oh there's a toad, oh sorry, hope I haven't spiked it, he'll not be able to get out will he? Little toady look. There's no way he's going to be able to get out of there, is he? So I'll just uh, give him somewhere to live. Go and live under my lettuce, little toady. Right, well that was a bit of a, a strange one. Right, I don't know how he's got in there. So that's the leaf mould. So and the toad. So we'll have a look at some other stuff. Can't believe the old sweet peas nearly into October and they're just coming absolutely by the by the handful now. Took a while to get going, but uh, plenty of them now, which is a bit strange, but there you go. So into my other bit, this is where I grew those giant runner beans for the shows. I'm just going to leave a load of these growing, look at the size of them. I'm going to leave a load, get a load of seed, and I'll give a load of seed away in a few sort of giveaway videos. Because I've got one, to, I've got some to type 27 inches, that one's probably even longer actually, if you look at the size of that. They're really easy to grow, I didn't do anything spectacular, so... Like I say, I'll try and save a bit of seed and we'll do a few competitions or something and give some away if anyone's interested. The leeks, I give those a good weeding and I've mulched them a bit with some of the old potato compost. Like I said, they're not the best this year, but they're okay, not too bad. Can't really complain. And the kale, kale's doing well, but I noticed there's absolutely tons of white fly on them. If you can see them, can you see it off? Can you see them flying off? I'll show you a leaf, I'll get a lower leaf. Look at the state of that. Absolutely covered. And that's outside, I never usually get things like that outside. You get them in a greenhouse, yeah, but... Outside, so I could do with a bit of a cold snap to kill all those off, really. I don't fancy eating them covered in flies. 
So that's the kale. These are some of the lettuces I planted and some of the um, spinach, which isn't exactly flying on, but should have a few bits of bits to pick at. And some of the turnips, not quite forming the the, uh, the turnip bulbs, well not bulbs, whatever you call them, but they should do in another few weeks and then we'll have a few to go out in uh, in winter. Now my main task now is to clear the marrow bed where I grew the marrow because it's just completely full of weeds. There's still the other one growing there. But that just needs a really good hoeing. And I'll try and put loads and loads of compost in this year. Because I didn't get to my £100 like I, sh like I thought. I'll try and put a picture in and show you the size that it got to this year. Actually got to £83. So uh, about the same as last year. I think I grew one to 85 last year or 86 and 85 the year before. So I do think I need to improve the, the soil, get some more nutrients in. And then maybe next year we can go for a £100er. So we'll finish off in the polytunnel where there's not a lot to look at now actually. As you can see all my onions in the pots have been lifted. I had a bigger one over there and that, I actually pulled that and that was another £10 as well. So put that into Harrogate. Put my biggest into Harrogate and it was about £9.2 ounce with all the leaves and roots cut off. And then I put three big ones in Harrogate, there's a class for that. And I got to just short of £27 for three with the leaves and roots cut off. So that was an average of £9. Managed to get seventh place with that but... When the winners are getting £42 with three onions, you've not got much chance really. Still got a few growing in the beds. Just going to keep this one going. That's massive. It's got a lot of leaves on. Still growing, so I'll just keep that growing until it stops really. And we'll see how many, how much that weighs. Yeah, like I said, not, nothing going. All the, Everything's been stripped down. That's where the tomatoes were. That's where the giant carrots. Oh, the giant carrot. I didn't do a video of that either. I pulled one and it was seven and a half pound, but it was a bit rotten in the middle. So I pulled another one and the, the other biggest was about four and a half pound, four and a quarter pounds. And I'll try and put a picture of that on if I can find it. It's not the most beautiful of things, but I managed to get fifth heaviest carrot at Harrogate with that. And the tomato that I kept, I got third heaviest tomato at Harrogate, just short of four pounds. So I was really pleased with that. The carrots, these are what's left of the show carrots now, they're just for eating. So I'll just give them a quick watering now and again and just pull them up as we need them for eating. And the French beans have decided to start growing more beans again. And they're absolutely covered in beans again. The second flush, they've all started coming from the bottom. And again, there's just armfuls and I've been taking these since sort of June time. If you look up above, the leaves are not looking too brilliant, but... There's just hand, handfuls of them again. So the bean that just never stops giving. The courgette's just about come to an end now. It fell over. <laughs> it's snapped. We're still getting the odd one there, look. And the cucumbers are totally finished now. So that's about it, folks. Coming to the, the end of September, nearly into October. Properly into autumn now. It'll start getting cold. we get a few frosts. And then that'll be it for another year. But anyway, that's about it, folks. One of the last roundups of the year, I think. So that's about it. See you later.